Hey guys, how's it going? Today we have a really fun project that I'm super excited to bring you guys along for. You'll notice behind me, we're sort of standing in the pond area. There's a group of people back here. What we're gonna be doing is we're going to be walking through the process of drawing out what they're calling the dream stream. So it's a stream extension coming off the main part of the pond that's gonna curve through this area where I'm standing, possibly back into this area on the new property. We're not exactly sure, but that's what I wanna bring you along for. So to help us with this project, we have Brian Helfrich back here, who is Aquascape's head designer, super talented, gifted um, person who puts in a ton of work and put in a ton of work into our pond, uh, as well as the president of Aquascape, Colleen, super sweet, super sweet gal. And then we've got Chris here from Green Source Landscaping who just helped us out with the great big pond clean out. Perfect timing. So as a backed up look at this area, you'll notice a sharp line in the color of mulch because Paul and Bethany finished mulching around the pond. We just took a walk around there the other day just to see how beautiful it is. We didn't touch this area because we knew we were gonna be coming through here and kind of trying to figure out the whole design, which I'm so excited for. We're kind of keeping in mind the view from the Hartley. We'll probably, you know, create something that will draw your attention. But you guys, I want to let Brian roll with this. When you uh, just let that person that's got the talent and the vision for projects like this go, you end up with something amazing. Our pond right there is case in point. All right, Brian, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. You can see we've got some paint here and a tape measure. Hey, yeah. What? Oh yeah. There's fish ready to have babies in there? There's definitely the Jinrin Ochiba, which is your all silver kind of gray one with the, the one little brown. Like sinking toward the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> yeah. one's a hundred percent pregnant. <gasps> yeah. Really? Babies are coming. Babies that's are so coming. Fun. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's probably <laughs> under a little warmer. Yeah, a little bit warmer, like May ish. Yeah, like May ish. Oh, yep. I love it. Wait for a big temperature spike and usually that'll uh get them to spawn nice yeah so if you guys don't remember this is brian from aquascape who was here last year i just i just told oh good good <laughs> as a reminder of the project last year which was the end of july yep hot it, it was like 106 <laughs> the whole time we did this project and you guys just did such a fantastic job i'm so excited yeah. so there are three different methods of doing this sort of like mock-up talking through the dream stream the dream stream the dream stream because i've actually been dreaming about it that's why i'm calling it the dream stream nice. i've been thinking of all these different things and something changed like there had to have been a tree or something here yeah, you were right yeah mm -hmm. so i kind of remember that but uh -huh. what i want to do is do design it lay it out the way we typically lay it out which mm -hmm. is really just using like a garden hose or spray paint mm -hmm. and marking paint and coming in and i really prefer that way because you can really just kind of get a feel of where it's going to sit and it's on moldable. the land yeah you we can, can shift it erase a lines a little yep. bit if we need to <laughs> like this <laughs> the second way i want to do it which is the way every single one of our um, potential customers asks for is a drawing yeah so i'll put together a drawing for you and say here's the drawing and does this help at all mm -hmm. or blah 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 i'll probably have to mail it to you that's right and that's just you can, fine. we'll, <laughs> we'll, show, you, we'll show you guys yeah and then the newest way everybody's been doing stuff is the 3d renderings so i want to have a 3d rendering done of the whole thing too oh. and kind of do the the moving water mm -hmm. and the imaginary people walking across bridges because mm -hmm. yes we're going to get a bridge if a bridge. Not one, but maybe two bridges is what I'm thinking. Oh my gosh. Uh, which would be great. Uh, I want to, of course, make it super interactive mm -hmm. uh, for the kids. Yep. Uh, for all ages because they're not going to stay that age forever, mm -hmm. right? At some point, they're going to want to maybe have a little deeper area to play yeah. in and um, and then make it bird lovingness too. Oh, so God. deep areas, shallow areas. All the things. All the things that you could ever picture in a natural looking stream. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. You ready to do this? I am. I'm all so right, ready. Let's go. Okay. So I know you've got some thoughts already, obviously. So just. All right. So here's. Go for it. Usually what I start doing when I think of like the design is I think about how pathways and stuff are going to interact with like the new property over here. Sure. And you've got this basketball court. Yeah. That's going to get new basketball hoops and yeah. is getting a remodel. You have a new play area going in over there. Yeah. And right now the easiest way for that to happen is to come kind of through this section, okay. right? Uh -huh. But because a pathway sitting here seems silly to me when there's a pathway right there, mm -hmm. I started over here. So as soon as I got out of the car, my mind's like, what, what can we do? Yeah. I think it would be cool if this, because I love this pathway right here. Mm -hmm. And I know we want to do another pathway over there. Yeah. But if we could come here, why off, like, 
and moving a couple of plants is like so easy. You. Let's say <laughs> like, it's easy. Right? Yeah. But we come through here, we can either slope it or go back to stone steps. Okay. Come back up this way. Mm -hmm. So think of the pathway, not so much the water right now. Yeah. We walk up this way as this tree continues to develop. Yeah. And you walk underneath the canopy of the tree, yeah. it'll just feel awesome. So we come down this way and I don't want to do two steps up and yeah. then two steps down because right. it's too short of a distance. So we either slope there and two steps down mm -hmm. or two steps up and then slope okay. the pathway. Yeah. Right in here would be a bridge, right? Yeah. This then comes underneath us and goes that way. Nice. So the origination of the stream happens here. Right here. So yeah. we'll pop, you know, we have to pop this guy out. Is origination a word? We're making it one. Okay. Yeah. Origination. <laughs> origination. <Yeah. laughs> okay. And of course we're going to want this to like flare out. Yeah. So you remember when we built this, we rolled up a ton of liner knowing yeah. that if we ever wanted to, we could come in here and yeah. add on. Right. Smart. Here's our tricky part. You see the water level of the stream? Yes. Or the, the pond? Yes. And this being pretty low yes. over here? This actually works to Benjamin's idea. Mm. So I want to make it so the fish can actually, if they want to, can come up through here, uh -huh. swim through parts of this. So this is what we call a deep stream, okay. where the water doesn't necessarily enter the pond through a waterfall like mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. It just gradually got deeper and deeper and deeper. Awesome. So as you come across this bridge, when I say deep water, like 16 to 14 yeah. inches, something sure. that they can still walk around in, yeah. hop in off the bridge, mm -hmm. go this way. Now this pathway, takes us to playland yes over here okay somewhere in here whether the river birch stays or not don't it can really move. care <laughs> but it wise off uh -huh. so it either takes you to the court or, or takes you keeps you on the like pond the, yeah, journey the pond, walk. the pond walk garden walk through mm -hmm. here now this stream would hug along this spruce right here mm -hmm. we'll give it obviously room to grow because it's not going to get smaller mm -hmm. it'll get wider and wider right but keep that stream within a couple feet of the drip line of it. Yeah. Right here, someplace in like here, we would do another bridge. So imagine that stream kind of twisting up and through yeah. here. It might even like come in close that way. Mm -hmm. Someplace in here, I want to give it some like hard turns. Yeah. Right here, there's another bridge. This takes you back to that entrance that you were thinking, but I would really like sweep this uh -huh. like out here, kind of like we did your other one. Yeah. So it's not like just a straight run. Right. To that other entrance that we right. come in through. The mm -hmm. stream and waterfall though could start back anywhere you want to back in this area. Okay. If we had, because let's see, do you think coming out here would be the best idea? Or if we had like um, the stream and the waterfall with that water movement, like drawing yeah. your eye, if we had it lined up somehow with the entrance of the Hartley so that you've got your entrance and you've got something movement, it's like movement back here. I love that the entrance to the exit or entrance to the stream garden path mm -hmm. lines up with the waterfall. Okay. Right? Yeah. And so, and then strategic plants and stuff can obscure parts of it. Yes. So you don't see all of it, but it like it pulls you in yeah. from the Hartley mm -hmm. and they'll probably see this first bridge, but not that bridge. Right. Or vice versa. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I just want to twist and like. Awesome. And we can come like we can come back into here. Yeah. And what I like about back in here is you're also talking about like another pathway coming in for the carts and stuff. Yes. So I could come up kind of high again. Okay. And do a pretty big berm. Okay. Right. Because I, I love the berms. Whether it's no. down here or up here, mm -hmm. it's really the the work is from here to there. Sure. So whether I build a waterfall this high or this high. Mm -hmm. It's more you getting the soil. Right. Like we'll generate some. Yeah. From the excavation of this, but nowhere near what we need. Sure. Like, do you remember how many truckloads? Oh, I don't know. We were talking about that last <laughs> night. And I, I told Aaron we should just start digging a big hole. Because, yeah. I like, mean, we'll just dig a big hole out on the dirt lands again. And if a lot of this dirt yeah. is already over here, yeah. like you guys just start creating a berm mm -hmm. at a comfortable size that you feel, then mm -hmm. we'll just carve into it. Awesome. We can do that. Yeah. And we might like have to move this little That's guy fine. like yep. a little bit. Yep, all of this is moldable because I want the stream to be like the right, yeah. what you're thinking. Plants can move. This one can, but the, so the rest of them can. Originally, I thought of like the stream coming around, disappearing around that spruce. Yeah. But I like the pathway disappearing around yeah. the spruce, I think, more than the, the I stream. I like that too. Yeah. And then let's have, let's like when we lay out this pathway, let's lay out the pathway to really like hug 
like maybe 15, 20 feet of the stream. Okay. And then get away from it again. Yeah. So there's a huge interactive spot. Yes. By the stream. Mm -hmm. And then we really want to focus on like, like we were saying before, like some really shallow kind of slower moving areas mm -hmm. that kind of beach out for the birds yes. and everything else. Cause with all the evergreens and the different trees you have, like the birds have just got to be everywhere around here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they are. They are, they're putting the slide up. How fun. We should have put it in the pond. We should. Oh, that would have been think, fun. You think they'll let us borrow it? Uh, Wheels are turning. <laughs> I doubt it. So I think we lay out like the exit entrance. Like it's really should be right in line with that. It doesn't make yeah. any sense to be off. off centered. Yeah. I like that idea. And then you just landscape in between the two to yeah. hide the fact that they're kind of yes. close to each other. Well, could we burn? Do you think we could burn up here yeah, and yeah, then yeah. also burn up on the other side? So it's so all it cuts like through just like that yeah. one. Yeah. So that it all kind of feels a little bit raised <coughs> from the driveway. Well, and a berm even coming off of the one with the maple over here. Yeah. Will feel good because then it'll actually look like the stream is carved through, through it. the mm -hmm. earth. Yeah. Like if you've ever flown and you look down at like the flat plains of Illinois, mm -hmm. like the streams do this. Oh, sure. They're back and forth all over the place uh -huh. because there's nothing to like mold them to say this is the path you should take. Sure. If I'm out here, Streams are a little bit more straight because mm -hmm. the mountains say, like, this like, is where, this you is where you're going to go, mm -hmm. you know? So right. we're kind of trying to create that. So yeah. I think the berms are just as important as the rock placement yeah. and everything else. Like, let's make this stream look like it's been here forever. Mm -hmm. Well, you made me yeah. fall in love with berms and boulders <laughs> and stumps. We added another great big one oh, over there you? by that spruce. We'll have to see yeah. if we can get some more. You know what will look it. great in the stream? Like, if we can get a full-on tree. Okay. Like... If we can do 20 feet of edging yeah. out of a full tree that kind of comes in and out of the water. I already know of one. Right? Oh, here's, she's yep. got one. <laughs> I got one in mind. It's at my parents' house. Yeah. <laughs> they just had one. And the more of the root flare or branching structure it has, yeah. the cooler the, it'll the, look. Yeah, okay. Okay, so next step is marking it out. Yeah, let me hey. walk it one more time. Okay. Do you want the wheelie gun yes, thing? Yes, I would love the okay, wheelie I'll gun. Okay, I'll go get it. Well, Aaron, it's a good thing we bought a bunch of stairs, stone slabs. We accidentally bought way too many. Oh, really? I think we've got a whole stack of them. That'll look great, though. Yeah. Nobody's going to want to walk all the way around. Right. Well, Aaron was just you saying know. we've got to figure out a way to get to the play area that makes more sense. And yeah. this makes a ton of sense. Do you Plus, like... that crab apple needs to go anyway. It's going to get too big. Oh. So we can go straight blow through that if you want. What do you like about, um, or what, like, in your opinion, as this pathway comes through here, do you see it winding off? With, I the think river, that's a, uh, yeah. with the river birch being yeah. like the purpose it went like that. Right. Well, then just go like this. Then take it like this. And why that way. And then why this way to the gate. Yeah. And then why this way. That goes this way. Yeah. So someplace it yeah. wise. Yeah. That's easy. And then I could plant another, like a smallish evergreen that'll kind of Block mask the... it. And yeah. And we're going to do vines on the whole oh, cool. fence. So hopefully it'll look like a green screen eventually. But yeah, if it came like through here and ended up you know, at an entrance over yeah, here to where there's there. still some planting area or I don't know where it'll be, but I would like there to be uh, flower beds before whatever else. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. I think that'll be perfect. If I were the entrance here, yeah, that's kind of in a bad spot. It, it kind of, it's, it's, it's a little inconvenient <laughs> it's right here. Yeah. So if I walked like this and I still wanted to see that waterfall over there, it's fine if it goes off. I mean, it, as long as there's something to catch your eye, it doesn't have to be the waterfall. I'm could totally it, open for whatever. Could it be just an awesome plant? Yes. Yep. It absolutely could. Like just. Yep. Like a beautiful Japanese maple. In the shade so you of come that. around like that. You come around like that. The nice thing is the maples are like super hardy. So it's like yeah. you can build up a little bit around them. You can right. dig around them. You're not mm -hmm. going to kill them. Like our oaks. Like oh. no, no, no. Oh, really? <laughs> mm -hmm. Four inches, six inches of soil on top of an oak. Like in seven years, it's dead. Oh, serious? Yeah, I know because I killed my parents' oak. Oh, it's <laughs> a, a good way to <laughs> you know, learn. Like a two hundred year old tree, oh. and I'm like, Dad. Learn by doing. And it was just mulch. I had leftover mulch, and I put oh. too much mulch around it. Here's the gun thing. If you want it, awesome. it's already loaded. Nice, loaded and ready. Yep. I, I don't know how much is left in there, but it feels like there's some. I'm just gonna put some dots on the ground. Okay. I wonder if the bridge is like the thing that. That people draws your see. eye. That would be kind of cool. What were you thinking, ish? The bridge would sit like this because it's got to tie in. So you'd come this way. Uh huh. So maybe if like. Cool. Hypothetically, this is just like the line. Okay. Of the bridge. Look at it from here, Laura. So you have this. Oh, big, there they are. You, <laughs> you see that? See you have this big giant tree. Uh huh. There's a wooden bridge with water. 
coming through. Coming underneath it. I think yeah. what we can do, you see how the ground like barely slopes up towards like the, the tulips that's trying to make it yeah. over there? Yep. I think we get a little babbly brook yeah. type waterfall yeah. just on the other side of the bridge. Mm -hmm. It'll be really important that we pick a bridge that has a super low profile right. so we don't obstruct the view of it all. Okay. But I think we can build that up even like three or four more inches without hurting anything. Yeah. I love it. And then it's almost like deep stream. Uh -huh. Not that I'm going to want the fish to come all the way up into here, mm -hmm. but it'll be like shallow, fast, shallow, fast Yeah. until it gets to there. And then this pathway from that line will curve back to here. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Now we're going. Yep. Now we're going. I love it. What do you think for the bridge? Three feet wide? Is that enough? I think so. Yeah. Because any wider than that, I think it's going to be a little bit out of scale. I don't know. Okay, so we've got it started. Brian is painting. We're just going to continue doing this and just talking through some of the different options. And then when we got it kind of set, we will walk you through what we end up deciding on. It's always kind of hard to capture this part of the process, but I think it's such a vital step and I didn't want to leave you guys out of it. Good job, bud. You're going to learn how to design streams and ponds. Good job, dude. High five. Way to go. Okay, so you feel good? I, I do. feel good. I feel good. <laughs> I'm actually excited. Like, don't you want to kind of like just get a shovel yes. and start going? Like, yes, I do. And we have to wait all the way until like uh, mid October. You guys, but that's all right. I am so excited about this. Will you walk us through like the. the Where should flow? we start? Should we start? Let's yeah. start here. Yes. All right. Because this is what everybody remembers. Uh huh. So you've got this one main entrance that comes into the existing pond. And I think we want to keep like. When I'm designing these things, we always think about like the pathway and how is it going to interact with everything else. And mm -hmm. So we come this way. Here's where you make your first decision. You can go right and go check out the, the old pond mm -hmm. and sit in the small little fire pit area the over there. The old pond. The old pond. <laughs> right. Or you can go left. And I think what we'll do is do a, a couple stone steps yep. that kind of mimic the same stone steps over there. Mm -hmm. This is going to lead us to a pathway that comes around this area. We want to keep it far enough away from the maple just so this thing can continue to grow and grow. Mm -hmm. Come down this way, give it a little bit of a twist, then come right here to a bridge. And if you can see this orange line that goes that way and goes this way, that'll be the stream. So this oh. bridge is going to go right over the, right over the stream. We're going to seam a liner on to the existing pond. Okay. This will give Benjamin exactly what he was looking for, which is a spot for the, the fish to actually swim upstream a little bit more. And what you're going to find is that the fish use this like a fish treadmill because oh. carp are like river dwelling fish, which mm -hmm. is what koi are. And they love playing in those currents. So they're going to swim up through here. They'll often spawn in these areas. And then we want to make it deep enough. So if they get up in here, mm -hmm. they have a place to kind of hang out a little bit. Awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. This pathway is going to take you this way as my stream continues that way. Okay. The pathway goes like this. I love creating a little bit of mystery, yes. right? So you come around this existing big blue spruce here. Mm -hmm. Here you can make a right and go to play central, play central over here, which is well on its way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or come back around underneath the canopy of this maple and, and it's like just starting to leaf out. So when it's fully leafed out, like I remember when building that pond mm -hmm. and it was hot, Yeah. like this was the sanctuary. Yeah, like everybody came over be. here. Mm -hmm. So this could even be a cool little spot for a bench or something yes. along the side of the mm -hmm. pathway. This comes like this. You can see, I hope you guys can see those orange lines. Well, Ben marked them for yeah. us, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job, bud. Right here, the stream is coming in close, or the pathway is coming in close to the edge of the stream. Okay. Right in here. We've got some remarking to do. Can you mark that? Go darken get them. it up a little bit. There you go. There Good you go. job. Love it. So that's the edge of the creek right there. That's the, the edge stream. of the creek, the stream. We made the stream really wide, mm -hmm. like really wide. What do you think that is? Like 12, 15? Yeah, probably 12 feet, yeah. 12 feet wide or something. 
but I was rough. I was having a hard time figuring out the curves and how mm -hmm. it was all going to work. So if I go with a really wide stream, then it allows me an opportunity. Ben, what do we got in the stream? Um, the island. The island. There you go. There. <laughs> Perfect. So when I do a big wide stream, it allows me opportunities to do cool stuff in the center of the stream. So I think we'll do an island, whether we put soil in it or it's rock and gravel with aquatic plants like mm -hmm. game day decision. Okay. But we'll figure it out. Awesome. Um, stream comes away or the pathway comes away from the stream a little bit leading us to another bridge there's like a planting area yeah. here so water planting area pathway pathway right now i'm standing on another bridge mm -hmm. this is downstream this is upstream okay we wanted to really kind of put this bridge right in line with the entrance off of your existing pathway there yes so when you come through that entrance you see this bridge with a little babble you build a waterfall behind it mm -hmm. of course your amazing landscape touch in here we get a little waterfall here and then this is where you said brian just kind of be creative yeah. so we're gonna mm -hmm. come back into here and as i stood back on uh, the pathway in the driveway over there uh -huh. i feel like this berm should be bigger than the existing one okay like i just feel i always think of like golf course berms yeah and same heights would be weird yeah. It's, I think because there's so much more space over here, yeah. we should get taller. Scale it up. I'm not saying we're like six feet tall, yeah. but if we can come in like here. Like four. Like, yeah, like yeah. up in here someplace. Uh-huh. And this, back, like build it. Build it all back. up. Ultimately with the idea, it gives you a place to plant all kinds of stuff to make that house disappear. Yes. Yes. Right? Please. Uh -huh. House has got to go. Yes. <laughs> that would be perfect. Big waterfalls that people see glimpses of from that entrance, definitely see it from the bridge. I mean, gosh, can you imagine? People are going to get married on that bridge oh. with the big waterfall behind them and maybe you, Ben. Oh, my gosh. Let's not talk uh. about that yet. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay, I'm going to stand uh, with my back toward the Hartley so we can see down the new pathway opening. Okay, so you can see the Hartley there standing with my back to it. We're going to move this hose because that's like smack in the middle of the pathway. Uh, but I'm hoping you guys can see like that gently curving pathway that's gonna go to the bridge that's right there. And then there's gonna be a little waterfall, like straight centered with this uh, opening so that you can see a little movement and it'll draw your eye back there and it'll pull you through. It'll make you wanna come back here and check it out. And then Brian, what are you thinking for the left side? So we're gonna berm up along the lane that's gonna lead to the back of the barn. So the berms will kind of be worked in, undulating kind of like in this area as well. I think- To the left. I think it can come like, meet like complementary to something to over this, there yes. mm -hmm. like in this high uh -huh. it could almost dip back down like along this pathway uh -huh. and then and then start climbing you know and my hands are not like like this I get high the, yeah mm -hmm. i like the idea that there's a berm like if this is the pathway here uh -huh. i like that you don't have to put an enormous amount of rock right. along the whole thing but a couple yep just so to frame it in can just kind of be like okay. so, but it should dip back down towards that pool. Okay, perfect. Well, and that will be completely, like this whole area will be 100% incorporated into the existing pond back in there. It's gonna be so amazing. I mean, I honestly don't know how these ideas get out of his brain. Uh, he just gets out here with paint and in you know, 30 minutes, he's got an entire concept painted out on the ground and to be able to walk that and, and feel it in your space there's really, oh, there's nothing like it. And you can make adjustments too. I mean, he came along with his foot and erased a couple of lines and repainted them to just widen something out or shift where it was at. And that's the beauty of either paint or hoses or a long piece of rope or something like that. And then you can kind of live with it too. Like now that the paint is down, unless we get a whole bunch of rain, which we're not supposed to in the next few days, I can come out here and we can walk around on it and see how it feels. Thank you guys so much. Hey. <laughs> it's a lot of a lot of work and a lot of effort to no. come all the way out here. And I'm super excited to see everybody back here yeah, in October. October is a long ways off. Blink That's of an eye. too long from now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, once Brian gets the sketch all done, I will share that with you in a video. And I'm hoping that just by seeing the paint lines, I'm hoping you can see them well enough. I hope they're dark enough that we can see them and you guys can get kind of a feel for what we're thinking for this space. And I'm so excited um, for this project to go down, but we'll bring you along too for the digital rendering and the, the drawing and, and all of that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one. Bye.